Good morning, grade nines, and welcome to another installment on graphs. Remember our previous lesson, we discussed three methods how to plot or draw a graph. Do you still remember? Let's see. The first method was to use a table, if you remember. The second method was to use the dual intercept. In other words, we use the x-intercept and the y-intercept. And the third method was to use the gradient and the y-intercept. So do you remember, guys? So the first method was table method. Second one was dual intercept. And third one was the gradient and y-intercept. So I hope you've done the homework, and I hope you could manage to do it. So let's take it further today. Right. Now you'll see we have a quite new equation here, x equals to a. Now if you remember, the conventional one is y equals to mx plus c. You remember y equals to mx plus c? Now you'll notice that it seems like we don't have a c. Did you notice that? So th that is perhaps missing. Now, now what type of graph is this? And you also, in other words, there's no y values here. Can you see? This equation got no y values. So remember now, x equals to a will be a graph which is perpendicular or to the x-axis or it is parallel to the y-axis. Right, can you see, guys? It is a graph parallel to the y-axis. So it's a vertical graph. And you'll notice if x is equal to 2, then it will go through the value of 2. So it's quite straightforward. x equals to 2 will go through x equals to 2, and it will be a vertical graph parallel to the y-axis. Right. So please just remember that now. Right. Okay. So I'm sure you'll be okay with that. Now, domain and range. The domain of a graph is the x value. The domain and range will be the y value. So domain is the x values and range will be the y values. Now this graph, you'll notice, there's no domain. Right. There's no domain because it's a vertical graph. So there's only a range. Right. And the range, you will see, it is an arrow up there, an arrow up there. So therefore, it is all the real values. Right. So the domain will be all the real values. Right. Now I have another new equation for you, y equals to c. Remember the first one was x equals to, now I have y equals to. So what is missing now? Yes, you're right. The x value is now missing. So that means now I'm dealing with a graph which is parallel to the x-axis. Right. So it is a horizontal graph. Because remember, there's no x values here. So it will not intersect or touch the x-axis. And you'll notice the equation is y equals to 3. So therefore, it goes through the point y equals to 3. Right. So it's quite straightforward. So remember the first one is x equals to 2. It went through the 2, which is vertical. This one, y equals to 3. So it is horizontal, and it goes through y equals to 3. Right. So please, guys, remember that. Domain and range... Domain is like that, and you can see this graph got two arrows, so it is its domain covers all the real values, right? But there is no range here because it is a horizontal graph, right? So I'm sure it's quite easy to draw these two graphs, right? Remember now, x equals to is a vertical graph, y equals to is a horizontal graph. I'm sure you guys will be able to do that. I don't think you're going to have any problems with that. Now we're going to look at parallel graphs. 
graphs which are parallel. Right. Let's look at this equation. Minus 2x plus 1. You'll notice 1, if you remember from the previous lesson, 1 is the y-intercept, if you remember. 1 is the y-intercept. And minus 2 is the gradient. Remember, guys? Negative 2 over 1 is your gradient. Remember, 2 is your change in y, and 1 is your change in x, if you remember. So it is 2 over 1. That is the gradient. Now, just take note, what am I going to do now? If I do this, what have I done now? I've drawn a, I've created a graph which is parallel to this one. So these two graphs are parallel, right? These two graphs are parallel, right? And what do you notice? In this case, the y-intercept is now negative 2. However, the gradient is still negative. Remember, it is in a... Do you remember that our previous lesson? We said north, south, west, and east. Both graphs are still in a northwesterly direction. So the gradient is still negative, if you remember. So they have the same direction... So it's negative, and this one, you'll notice, that is 2 over 1. You see, 2 over 1. So it is exactly the same gradient. I can do another one. Maybe move it up there. Right. So that one is also parallel. Also parallel. Right? The y-intercept now is 2, right? And the gradient is 4 over 2. Let me use another color here. 4 over 2. And what is 4 over 2? 4 over 2 is also 2. So what do we notice, guys? So we notice that if graphs or lines are parallel, they will have different y-intercepts, however, they will all have the same gradient. Yes. So let me repeat. If lines are parallel, they will have different y-intercepts, however, they will have the same gradients. So in other words, remember this was our graph number one, and this was its equation. If I call this graph number two, then each equation will be y equals to negative 2x, and its y-intercept is negative 2. If I look at graph number 3, right, then each equation, this is graph number 2, remember, and graph number 3 is also minus 2x, but the y-intercept now is plus 2. So there you are. Can you see? Different y-intercepts, However, they all have the same gradient, namely negative 2. So there you are. So if graphs are parallel, they have the same gradient, only their y-intercepts are different. I'm sure you do have that one. All right. Okay. Let's look now at perpen. Perpendicular graphs. Now, what is the meaning of perpendicular? It means it is lines that meet at angles of 90 degrees. Right. They meet at angles of 90 degrees. That is perpendicular. Now, if you look at these two graphs here, the one is y equals to x plus 2, and the other one is y equals to negative x plus 2. Then they both meet in 2 because they both do have a y-intercept of 2. So we expect that, isn't it? However, this graph is in a northeasterly direction, right? And this one is in a northwesterly direction. 
to be expected because northwesterly the gradient is negative and northeasterly the gradient is positive. So we do expect that. However, you will notice that these graphs are perpendicular. They meet at angles of 90 degrees. And there's a smart way to know that. What you do is, if I can call this graph 1, and I call this graph 2, then graph 1 times graph 2. Now, if I multiply their gradients, I'm going to have, now graph 1, the gradient is a positive 1, right? And graph 2, the gradient is negative 1. And now if you multiply, the answer is negative 1. So there you are. If I multiply the gradients and the answer is negative 1, that is an indication that the graphs are perpendicular. Let me repeat. If I multiply the two graphs' gradients and the answer is not positive, it has to be a negative and it has to be a 1. Right, is it clear, guys? So if the answer is negative 1, then you will know the graphs are perpendicular. Right, so please remember that and you will not have a problem. Right, so yes, that's your conclusion. Right, so that was your conclusion. All right. Now it's time for the activity. You must draw the graphs of the following functions on the same system. Right. So I hope you got your graph paper ready. And I want you to draw this graph for me and this one. And you can use any method. You can use the table method. You can use the dual intercept method. Or you can use the gradient y intercept. You decide which method works for you. And I want you to try this one, guys. So I'm giving you a few minutes, starting now.
Right, welcome back, guys. Let's see, could you do the, the two graphs? Right, so let's see. I'm going to use the dual intercept method. For me, it, it works very good. I can also do it mentally. Already, if I take the first graph, the y-intercept is 3. So there's my y-intercept is 3. Right. And remember, on the x-axis, if I make y 0, I can get my x-intercept. Or I can use the gradient method. It doesn't really matter. If I use the gradient 2 thirds, so from the 4, I can move to down, right? And then 3, left or right. It is 3 to the left, isn't it, guy? Because remember, positive gradient, the graph is in a north easterly direction. Right. Shall I do it once more? Y intercept is 3, gradient is 2 over 3, right? Gradient is 2 over 3. Mm -hmm. So from the 4, uh, from the 4, oh sorry, from the 3, I move 2 down and 2 to the left. And now I can plot my graph. Right. And there you are. There is my graph. Right. The second one. Right. Let me use another color. Right. The second one. The y-intercept is negative 4, meaning there. Y-intercept is negative 4. The gradient is negative 3 over 2, meaning in a north-westerly direction. 3 over 2. If I move 1, 2, 3 up, I have to move 2 to the left, isn't it? Remember I said the graph must be a negative gradient, the graph must be in a north-westerly direction. So always be careful. Right, so if we draw the graph, right, so there you are. So there's my second graph. The first gradient is 2 thirds times the second gradient, which is negative 3 over 2, Negative 3 over 2. Right? And if I multiply, the answer is negative 1. Which means that these two graphs are perpendicular. Right? So these two graphs are perpendicular. So the relation between the two functions is that they are perpendicular. Alright. Are you okay with that? Right, now we're going to do a new activity. Now we're going to draw the graph from, well, the graph will be given to you. Now we're doing the other way around now. The graph will be given to you, and you must determine the equation. Right, so just exactly the opposite now. Now remember, this is the formula for a straight line graph y equals to mx plus c. We spoke about this earlier on. Remember now that m represents the gradient. Remember m, which is y over x. And c is our y-intercept. Don't forget now. Right. c is our y-intercept. So m is gradient and c is y-intercept. Now, how do you find M and C? Right. Let's start with C first. C is very easy. Remember, C is always on the y-axis. Right. So in this case, you can see it here that it is a 1. So C is definitely a 1. We can see it. Right. C is a 1. The gradient, which is M, we must remember, it is change in y over change in x. So it's a y value over an x value in, the, in a right angle, angle of 90 degrees. Let's see. If I, if I do it here, for instance, if I take this one here, right, angle of 90, then I count here, 1, 2, 3, 4. That is four positions, right? And here I see... 
2. So it is 4 over 2. Gradient is 4 over 2. Right. Which can also be 2 over 1 if I simplify it. Right. 4 over 2. So therefore, the equation then is y equals to mx plus c. Right. So m is 2 over 1 or just 2x. And c is 1. So there you are. No certificate. Remember, m is 2 over 1, and of course, c is 1. And there you are. There is the equation of your graph. Right. You can double check a positive gradient. Yes, you expect the graph to be in a northeasterly direction. Right. Are we okay with that? Right. Activity. Now, I want you to do exactly the same, right? You must find the equations of the green graph and the yellow graph. Right, I need you to try this for us. So I'm going to give you again a few minutes, starting now.
Okay, welcome back, guys. I hope you could do this one. Let's see how are we, how can we solve this one. Right, are you ready? Let's start with the green graph first, right? This one here, the green graph, which is called the f of x. First of all, remember now, y equals to mx plus c, right? That is the form which you must always use. So, if we can start with m first, you'll notice it is 2, uh, 1, so we can, we can count, right? From 4 to this 2, and here we count how much, guys? Also 2. So it is 2 over 2. So the gradient is then 2 over 2, which is 1, isn't it, guys? Isn't 2 over 2, 1? So therefore, 1x. And it is in which direction? Northeasterly, so it's a positive 1. The y-intercept is plus 4. Ah, voila, can you see? Not so difficult. So there's the equation of the first graph. Let's look at the yellow graph. The yellow graph, y equals to mx plus c. Right. So m is the gradient yet again. And here you can see we have there, that distance over that distance. So this is 4 over 2. Right, can you see guys? 4 over 2. And what is 4 over 2? 4 divided by 2 is 2, isn't it? 4 divided by 2 is 2. Right. And of course the y-intercept is negative 4. And it's a positive gradient because it is also in a northeasterly direction. So there you are. I'm sure you guys could, could do that. Not so difficult. So remember, gradient is y over x. And you must look at the angle of 90. And of course, the y-intercept is on the y-axis. So it's not so difficult. All right. So I hope that you are okay with that. And here is your homework activity. I'm giving you four different graphs. And you need to copy this very quickly now. Copy this graph very quickly, and then write down the equations of the four graphs. Right. Remember now, we have vertical graphs, we have horizontal graphs, and we have graphs at different angles or slope. Right. So please, guys, do the homework. You need to practice, practice, practice until you get it right. Right. So all the luck, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.